Good afternoon. Welcome to the Bearcat Broadcast. Today is Thursday, April 18th. I'm Clara Davis. And I'm Mark Gillen. Happy birthday today to Jace Lee and Mrs. Pierce. Seniors, please be sure to check your email for the Google form to nominate a faculty member to speak at graduation. Voting closes Friday, April 19th. Hey Bearcats, get your cold bottle of water for 50 cents and help the Wheeler High School Key Club. Water can be purchased in the fax room. Now to Javanka with the sports report. Check, check, today, Tuesday, check. There's a girls varsity tennis match at 4.30 at home versus Bishop Knoll, be there. There's a away varsity softball game at 4.30 versus Merrillville. Don't, don't go. There's a home varsity baseball game at five versus Merrillville. Nah, yeah, don't go to that either. Back to the desk. Thanks, Javanko. Math tutoring is every Monday and Wednesday from 2.50 to 3.30 in room 207. The themes for next week's Spirit Week are as follows. Monday, Celebrity Day. Tuesday, Mathletes versus Athletes. Wednesday, Western Wednesday. Thursday, Throwback Thursday slash Decades. Friday, Dress Down Day. Now to the second episode of Bearcat Bachelorette. Do you have anyone in particular you're rooting for? I'm Team Reagan. Welcome back to the Bearcat Bachelorette. Last episode, we got to meet our Bachelorette, Reagan, and her extremely eager contestants. Let's get to know a little bit more about Reagan. I'm Reagan Litke, and I'm a junior. Tell me about your ideal prom date. Tall, missing tooth, um, probably has darker skin complexions, graduated last year, <laughs> plays basketball, um, and works for an ice company and goes to Purdue Northwest. Thank you so much. Now Reagan is going to react to some of our contestants' answers. <laughs> Who asked for the check at a restaurant? Your waitress, check. Um, that was an interesting way to ask. Okay, next person. Um, can I have the check? Okay, that seemed pretty normal. He used manners, you know? Um, I usually just, I just like wave my hand up and like do one of those. <laughs> There's no form of communication really. Not that good. Um, I just politely ask the waiter for the bill and then I pay for the meal. That was really good. Very polite. Had a good form of communication. That one was the best one so far. Uh, can I please have the check, please? <laughs> okay, he said please, which is good. Yeah. That one was not good. Hmm. These are like not what I was expecting. I just say, can I have the check? That one was um, just like every other one. How do I ask for the check? Don't they just hand it to you at the table? I don't know, and then I just pay cash? I don't know. Apparently this man's never been to a restaurant. Um, that means he likes to eat at home, that's good. Yeah. What is your best pickup line? Best pickup line? Um, uh, probably like, uh, I don't know, I don't got one. He doesn't have a good pickup line. We could tell that he does not get chicks. I don't use those. Never had to. 
Again, no pickup lines, no chicks. What is a pickup line that would never work on you? Uh, probably this overdone one about Tennessee. It just wouldn't work. Are you from Tennessee because you're the only 10 I see? <laughs> Again, the Tennessee ones just wouldn't work on me, so they're just overdone and ugh, so no. I don't know. I'm going to go with, are you from Tennessee because you're the only 10 I see? Again, the Tennessee one just wouldn't work on me. <laughs> he didn't even have one either, but he doesn't need one, so. Oh, God. Um, I don't really have one. Again, no pickup line. This is so disappointing. <laughs> um, I can't say it. It's not, not appropriate. Ooh, I can't say that. Uh, can I say it? Is that okay, Miss Mills? Okay. <laughs> you should say, oh. Okay, just for context. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna use it on Javanko right here. Javanko, you should sell hot dogs. Cause you know. <laughs> 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 wow, he's bold. That was a good one. And he's the only one that really had one, so that was good. Okay, so I'm going to eliminate Tyne, Brady, and Landon. They just seemed uncomfortable and not compatible for me and very lame.